and for Amanda Joy Denowitz. We have a very special live art mini this week. We're gonna dabble into some conceptual art and check out an artist group from New York called the Gorilla Girls, who are striving to bring awareness to women's rights, equal rights, and uh, many things. We're looking at disability rights. It is March and it's Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month. So we've got a number of features for our studio, but we really wanna highlight and feature our individual artists that are with us today. So apologies for those of you that tuned in yesterday. We did have to delay live art mini because apparently Amanda Joy is under the weather. So I am filling in for her this week, but we did want to bring you our feature. So I do give, want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Sherry Armstead and Symmetry Boutique and Gallery in Fairfield. So thank you as always for sponsoring live art mini. Uh, we appreciate it. And just to give a shout out and advocate for them, they do handmade artwork that is American made. Everything is made in the US. So thank you as always to Symmetry Gallery and Sherry Armstead. So I wanna share with you the artist group, the Gorilla Girls. So they were originated in 1985 and there was a number of female artists in New York City. They're well known popular artists that really wanna advocate for the fact that women were underprivileged and they are also not shown as much as their counterparts in museums and galleries throughout the city as well as the country. So let me pull up a picture here of those Gorilla Girls. So Gorilla was a play on terms because you know of Gorilla marketing, Gorilla warfare. It's kind of underground and uh, do-it-yourself type of tactics. So they would, like I said, conceptual art. They would work in advertisements, they would work in posters, and they would go out and we paste them throughout the city. And everyone we got a special shout out from Devin Raglan. Devin is watching today. So I hope you are doing well and enjoy this spot there, Devin. So the Gorilla Girls, like I said, went out around the city and posted posters, advertisements, and then basically it was their voice to tell everyone about how women were underrepresented in the gallery and the museum system specifically for arts. So there's another image of those right there. You can see that graffiti and the signage in the background. A lot of what they used was word out, word art and imagery to get their messages across. So I'm gonna pull up probably the most famous signage that they created. And this one states, do women have to be naked to get into the Metropolitan Museum of Art? Less than 5% of the artists in the modern art section are women but 85% of the nudes are female. So this might seem a little bit controversial, but throughout the history of art, nudes have been very, very popular. You know, people studied from the body in the past. So they're also kind of playing on the fact that women were represented in the paintings, but they were not represented as the artists themselves, even though there were many, many prolific women artists that were practicing well back from like the 1800s up until modern day. So example of the signage as well, free the women artists, museums all over the world keep them locked up in storage and out of sight. Even though a number of museums and galleries said that they collected the art of female artists, a lot were never shown and just kept in the backstops. So Devin says that she's doing great and hopes everyone here is too. So thank you for that Devin and once again thank you for signing in to Live Art Mini. So another example of the signage here, you can see some famous artists. You might know George O'Keefe, Frida Kahlo, but there are so many famous or talented women artists, I should say, like Sonia Delaunay, who was known for creating the Futurist Movement well back into the 1920s. And here's an example of how they got their message out. So taking signage, you might go to Kinko's, you might print posters, get some wheat paste, and then go put it out on the wall. So it's something that's not damaging the buildings, it's something that comes down easy and wears and tears over time, but it's a great way for them to get their message out. Like I said, there's a conceptual aspect to their art as well, because a lot of art is about telling a story and finding meaning in it and conveying that to the viewer. So I'm gonna close with a project that they had that really inspired what we're doing today. This is called the Gorilla Girls Complaints Department. And this was held at the Tate Modern, which is a very famous gallery in London, England. And what the Gorilla Girls set up was a place for someone to come in 
a place for viewers to come in and invite to write a message, something that's been bothering them, something they find is a problem in society, something they feel that needs to be changed. So they're invited to come in, write their message, and put it on the wall, and really create a big gallery of everyone's thoughts to create change and really propel that. So what we're doing today, let me pull it back to our camera here, is we've got our creative complaints department. So here at Inside Out Studio, obviously know we serve adults with developmental disabilities, and this is Disabilities Awareness Month. So what we want to bring about is some facts about people with disabilities that you might not know. One of which is the majority of individuals with disabilities are not employed. So a number of employers aren't able financially or just choose not to make adaptations so that individuals with disabilities might gain employment and do work in their workplace. And another sad fact is a lot of individuals with disabilities are allowed to be employed at sub-minimum wage payments. So that's something that we hope will change in the future, but something that we feel needs to be put out there just so people are aware of the state that some adults with disabilities live in. So we have a number of facts around this as well, and we've created this message board that our artists are gonna be working on today and that we're gonna leave up through the end of Disabilities Awareness Month, invite the public to come in and tell their story about things that they feel are not right or they may wanna sound their voice, and our other artists who aren't here today on Friday can also participate as well. So come check this out throughout the month as we develop it more and more. And we're going to start it today with Miss Jody Mann. So I'm going to invite you up here. Hey, come on down. All right. So what we've been talking about today is what we want to speak to the community about, what we want to speak to society. We're using Facebook as our sounding board. So we want to tell our stories of our hopes, dreams, goals, stories of how we've been maybe disenfranchised or picked on, or also just talk about what you feel is your best trait and what you add to the world. So Jody, what were we talking about? What, what do you feel like are your best qualities that you put out into the world? Talking, but talking, speaking up. Speaking up. Speaking up, yes you are. So just to brag on Jody a little bit, she's been advocating for adults with disabilities through Butler County Board of DD. You've spoken up in Columbus, correct? That is correct, Stephen. And what kind of groups are you involved with? I'm um, speak at uh, the Best Place Friends Choir. Um, Best Place Friends Choir. Yeah, you went to the Best Buddies Conference up yeah. in Columbus. Yeah, that was in Indiana, yes. Is in Indiana, so you went to the National Conference too. Yeah. Awesome. So Jody is known in the com community as well as the county for being an advocate for adults with disabilities and showcasing her strengths and highlights. She is a ray of sunshine eh. and when she enters the room... Not in the, the mornings, I'm not. Not in the mornings? All right. Well, we all have trouble waking up sometimes. But what would you like to add to our board? Do you want to do an image or do you want to write some words up here? I write some words. All right. What's your favorite color? Uh, pink, please. Let me get our marker going, make sure it's working well. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So pick any spot that you like up there, and that's some words. Uh, can I just do a different, this, I'm good. While you're doing that, I'm going to ask Miss Tiffany Jameson to start making her way up. As well as Stevie Gall. You guys will be the next up. Keep going there, Jody. I'm not going to stop you. So... Thank you, David. There we go. We just want to make sure we have time to feature everyone we have here today. step aside until Jody's all finished. We do want to keep our distance for safety. All right. I'm liking it, Jody. You're feeling motivated today. How about you? I like it. 
So, do you want to say what you wrote, or shall I read it for you? I can't read it. Okay. Talk to you for yourself. Three people listen to you. That's right. Speak up for yourself. Very good. Thank you, Jody. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, do a show to everybody, everybody I know. Hi! All right. Hello to all of Facebook. Mr. Yeah. Jameson, come on down. So we are adding to our board today. We talked about hopes, dreams, and goals. Things that you want to do in life. What things that you want to tell people in general? What would you like to tell everyone that's watching today about your experience? Well, um, I like making my arms here. <laughs> What's your favorite art to make while you're here? What the glass? Okay. Why do you like making glass so much? The glass is my my favorite. Okay. And then you also work in the community as well. Would you like to tell everyone about where you work? I don't know where I work at. Was it McDonald's? Well, I used to. Okay. But not no more. Okay. So, are you getting another job? Something you'd be interested in? After COVID go bye bye. I would like to have another job. <laughs> All right. So what did you do while you're at McDonald's? I clean. <laughs> All right. So if there's anyone out there looking for someone with cleaning experience, and after COVID goes away, we've got a young lady here, Tiffany Jameson, that is looking for a job. So what would you like to put? You want to put something about your art, or would you like to put something about work up here? I like uh, writing Gorilla Girls on here. Gorilla Girls. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. You want to draw a picture of the gorilla girl? I'm going to make sure this one's working. I know you got to draw like pictures of her. Well, you could just write it. That one's a little light on the gray, so we're going to go with purple. You could do, you could write the gorilla girl wherever you want here on the board. I can spell it. How about I have to use this? O R I L L A. And girls is. Can you do girls yourself or you want to help with that? I do. That'd be an I R L S. Very good. Thank you, Tiffany. I want to make that like like Kathleen. Like you want to learn how to do crochet? Yeah. All right. Someday we're going to teach you. Well, Kathleen could teach you because she knows more than we do. What she's going to show you her awesome yeah. skills with crochet. Right. Stevie, come on down. Stevie, Stevie, Stevie. All right. Stevie's been with us for a couple of years. Stevie, we're on camera right now, right up here. So you and your sister were actually doing a video for us earlier today, talking about the experience you've had at Inside Out. Is it something that you you had fun here? You consider this your job? Yeah, and that's something I advocate for, the fact that being an artist is a vocation, a job in itself. So it's great that we can employ our artists and have income earned for them based upon the sales of their work. Stevie? What's your favorite color? White? Okay. We're going to see if this white works. I think the white might be dry. Would you rather have a blue? Try that one. Would you like to add some of your characters to our board here? So we got a great story for Stevie. His sister came in, Kathy, and did a video for us for Disabilities Awareness Month. And Stevie grew up drawing little characters. It's just kind of something that he did. But since he's come to Inside Out, we've been able to represent him, have his characters on many different types of objects, as well as he's come in place at Art and Soul Competition up in Dayton, in Xenia, Ohio, as well and really won some awards for all of his characters. So it's great that 
you know, someone that was just taken for granted, something that they did their whole life. No one really thought much of it, but found a spot where he could really be appreciated and have what he does put out there for the world to enjoy. I'm just going to check here on the board to see if anyone's texting in. I know we had David calling in earlier. I think Stevie's going to go with two people today. Those are the biggest people you've drawn so far. Awesome! Thank you, Steve. All right, next up is Bobby Joe Robinson. Bobby Joe, you're going to do awesome. Come on, step in the frame here. So, what we're, what everyone's looking at outside, we can see right there on our screen. So, is there anything that you want to tell? Everyone watching out there about being an individual with disabilities, how society might perceive you, or experiences you've had. We take donations. We do take donations. Is there something personal you'd like to share, or let's say maybe hopes and dreams, things that you want to achieve over the next year? I like to move out. You want to move out, live on your own? Yeah. Okay. Where are you taking the movement to? Um, in a trailer. Okay, just looking to move out on your own. Because it is a fact that a lot of individuals with disabilities, if they don't have the support of their families, are limited to living in group homes or daycare facilities. They don't have the chance to get out there and live life to the fullest like one would expect. Is that a correct observation there, Bobby Joe? Yeah. Yeah, so I know that you live with your family. Before. So what do you enjoy most about coming to the art studio? Doing clay. Okay. What's your favorite thing in clay? Mm -hmm. Really don't know. Don't know. But I know that you enjoy commissions. Yeah. Because that's a means to an income. And you've also had some jobs in the past as well. So that's something you're striving to do. So we talked about earlier how it's hard for individuals with disabilities to find jobs just for mm -hmm. you know adaptive purposes or finding, you know employers that were willing to take a chance on working along with you as well. So what would you like to add to our board today? You want to draw a picture or put a message out there to everybody? Message. A message? What color would you like? What? Blue. Blue it is. Let's see if this one's working. We'll go with the dark blue since TV used the light just for some variety. Wherever you like, I can move out of your way if you want to add something to the right side there. And we got Mr. Tracy Miracle coming up next. We're going to hear from Tracy Miracle as well as James Egan and Kathleen Honeycutt today. And after Bobby Joe's done up there, we're going to pause really quick. We do have a message from Symmetry Gallery and Debbie Wisebro. You can go visit her and check out all their wares. Bobby Joe, what'd you write? Don't give up, talk to someone. All right. Don't give up and talk to someone. That's right. 
Thank you, Baba Joe. Give up, Baba Joe. So don't give up. Talk to someone. If you feel like you need to talk to someone, I would advocate for that as well. Everybody needs somebody. So with that, we're going to pause really quick and hear from Debbie Wisebrod over at Symmetry Gallery. Hi, my name is Debbie. I'm here at Symmetry Boutique and Gallery. I am Sherry Armstead's daughter, and we want to thank you for your continued support of our small local business here in Fairfield. Inside Out Studio has always been a mission that Sherry and Symmetry has supported in their mission to help young artists and giving them opportunities. If you're new to Symmetry and our store, please come in and visit us at 1000 Sims Road. Mention that you saw the Inside Out Studio video and receive 10% off your next purchase. Take care. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Debbie. Once again, go out and check out. All right, so we're on Facebook Live right now. So that yeah, scene on the right, yeah, you and me, that's what yeah, people are watching. Yeah. All right. So Mama Neil's out there. Yeah. Karen Neil yeah, is watching today. Yeah, hi, everybody. Yeah, hi. Yeah. She's our volunteer yeah, of the year, does so much yeah, for us up in the storefront. Yeah. So yeah. Tracy, we talked earlier about some things that you wanted to say. What What is it that you want to get out of life? What's your favorite things to do? Hey. We like to paint. What else do you like to do outside of the studio? Like, uh, clay and, uh, put, uh, trees together and that, that's all. You've been doing that mosaic trees, putting yeah, that together? Uh, yeah. All right. What do you love to do on the weekends? What, what is it? The people out there that don't know you <coughs> might not realize you love to do on the weekends or at home. Go out to dinner. You love to go out to eat dinner. Yeah. Cool. You want to share any of your hopes and dreams that you have? Yeah. Yeah. What do you What do you look forward to doing this next year? I like to move and and get another house. That's what I like to do. Move, get a bigger house, maybe yeah. different house. Yeah. Okay. That's good. It's good to have goals. Yeah. You want to add to our board today? Yeah. We're speaking out on behalf of individuals with disabilities. Yeah. What would you like to draw or write up there? What? What is that? What's that? What's that one? What's that one I draw? I didn't get to draw a long time. Maybe I don't know. You tell me. How about the Gaga? That thing. The Lady Gaga. Okay. How you how you can you teach me how to draw that? Well, we can start with doing a circle for the face. How about this yellow since she's got blonde hair for the most part? We can do a circle. Yeah. Yeah. Give her some lots of blonde hair. What? What's a blonde hair? What's up? The... Just some long hair. And then some eyes, nose, and a mouth. I think that's good. Thank you, Tracy. Yay. James Egan's going to be our next artist to join me up here. And just a correction earlier, when we were doing the Gorilla Girls with Tiffany, I did give her the wrong spelling of gorilla. I gave her the animal spelling, but the Gorilla Girls is G-U-E-R-I-L-L-A. So. Shame on me. Uh -oh. <laughs> Come on down, James. We're just speaking out on behalf of ourselves. We're advocating. We're getting in front of the community and telling people something either about us, our hopes, dreams, and goals. Mm -hmm. Or maybe problems that we've had in the past, things that we want to see changed in society. Would you like to step in the frame here mm -hmm. and just give us and share a little bit with us? Um, I think my most biggest goal to reach, and my mom wants me to reach it too, is to drive. Mm -hmm. Because right now her, her age is kind of creeping up on her and it's kind of hard for her to step on the gas pedal without her feet hurting her. Okay. So I figured that's probably my biggest goal. Biggest goal is to learn how to drive? Mm -hmm. Okay. Great, so we're finding like 
the right way to get the lessons and learning mm -hmm. how and then the right car and being able to afford a car. Right, yes. So you feel like those are all going to be hurdles that you have to get through. Yes. To make that happen. Mm -hmm. okay. Have you taken steps to start that yet? A um, while back, she used to have an old van that she let me uh, test drive for my, for my bike ago. Did you like driving? I sure did. Good. I love driving myself. That's my favorite thing I did, learn how to drive when I was a teenager. So, would you like to write something or draw something to represent that today? Well, I draw. Draw? All right. What's your color of choice? Blue. Okay. I know that you are big into drawing cars. We have a number of pen and ink drawings as well as watercolor drawings that James has done over the years. Mm -hmm. There you are, sir. Please add to our creative complaints department board. I'll get that for you. Uh, All right, we have one last artist with us here today as Kathleen Honeycutt, so she'll be coming up after James. And then I'll tell you a little bit about our Disabilities Awareness Month features and what we're doing on our front window. You want me to talk you in or you just want to get into it? Because I know you're, you're very well spoken and you're a very talented artist. Yeah. So Kathleen has been with us, I'd say, for a couple of years now. You've yes. been doing your crocheting. Yes. And like I mentioned earlier, we as a staff don't know how to crochet or do any fabric arts ourselves besides sewing. So this is a unique skill set. And how did you learn how to do this? Uh, I learned how to knit from my mom. But I learned crochet through YouTube. Okay. And so you, you taught yourself? Yes. I do very well with repetition. So something where I do the same thing multiple times. I just, it takes me a minute to learn. But once I've got it and keep doing that certain motion, I've got it. I use that same thing with work, too. And you're employed in the community. I work at the Joanne Fabrics up in Mason. Before that, I worked at for Hamilton Hospital. So I've gained a lot of experience from that kind of stuff. Great. That's awesome. Is there any message that you want to send out? So this is our sounding board today, speaking to the community about being an individual labeled with disabilities in society. Is there anything you want to say to that? Don't judge a book by its cover. Just because someone's labeled as disabilities doesn't mean that they're helpless. They can do the same thing as you, you without trouble, maybe with some, but that doesn't mean they can't do it. That's awesome. All right. Would you like to add to our vision board today for yep. creative complaints? Uh, What's your color of choice? I think I'll go with the green. Try that out, make sure it works. I'll get you a new one. Thank you very much, Kathleen. All right, let me slide up. We're going to close things out for today, but just really want to advocate for the individuals that we serve here at Inside Out. You know, a lot of things that we take for granted on a daily basis are, could be a hindrance to an individual with disability. You know, it's just recently in the past few years that they've been doing the lowered curbs with the traction bumps on them so that they would be accessible for those that might have trouble lifting their leg high enough to get over a curb and or using a wheelchair. 
And also ADA accessibility is something that's been coming up in the recent past. On top of finding employment for individuals with disabilities and finding employers that are willing to take a chance on working with someone that might have some social stigmas for fear that they might say something awkward or upset a client or a customer. So a big shout out to all of those out there that are employing individuals with disabilities, offering the proper job training, offering the skill set as well as the patience to train individuals that might take a little bit longer to learn than others. So I would just appreciate all those organizations and people that understand that. And just on a personal level too, if you're interacting with those in society, just be aware that individuals with disabilities might have some sensory issues. So they might not make eye contact to some degree. They might also have some social stigmas. So please consider that whenever you're out in public and group settings. As things come out with COVID and we're out interacting more, just consider that. So with that, I do want to let you know about Disabilities Awareness Month here at Inside Out Studio. We have an online campaign that we're doing for those that you would like to donate to the organization to help out the program, to help out the artists. And I do want to highlight our front window right now. So this is us at 140 High Street in downtown Hamilton, Ohio. We've got some awesome volunteers from Baden High School that painted our sun logo, as well as Disabilities Awareness Month notification on the window. And for every donor that we get in the month of March, we're adding one character onto the window to represent them. And these are done by our Baden artists, but the characters were originally designed by Stevie Gall, who was up here earlier today. So we've got Stevie's characters accumulating on the window for every donor that we get, because we really want to highlight the support and the love that we are getting from the community. So a big shout out once again, Symmetry Gallery, thank you for your support. Thank you for joining us today. It's been a great live art mini. Uh, go ahead and research those Gorilla Girls if you're interested, see what else they've been doing, and really advocate for those that you love. And goodbye, everyone. Have a great weekend.